Hola, buenas. I'm currently standing at the bus stop, waiting to get on the bus to go to O'Donnell in Madrid. And the reason why is we have a basketball game today. It's going to be Spain versus Italy. And this is a qualifier for the Olympics. Currently, it is 34 Celsius. I am absolutely boiling, but I'm really excited to see what basketball is about. I've never been to a game before, so... Yeah, let's see what it's all about. A lovely introduction from David there. But as mentioned, I have absolutely no experience with this sport. Now, I'm a guy who's grown up on a steady diet of football. That's soccer for my American cousins and rugby. Those are the sports that get my blood pumping. But basketball, totally uncharted territory for me. So I'm here to share my first impressions and what I observed from this whirlwind of a sport that I think I could really get into. In fact, I remember back in the day playing some old basketball games and I would absolutely love to find them again and play them again. To start off, let's talk about the atmosphere. It's fast paced, intense, and the energy in the arena is electric. I noticed some very American elements, things like the kiss cam, t-shirt cannons blasting, free stuff into the crowds, and the abundance of adverts plastered everywhere. It was like being in some sort of quiz show or arcade. Coming from rugby and football, where the vibe is often more, shall we say, focused on the game, this was a refreshing change for me. Now, let's rewind a little bit here and talk about where this all started. Basketball was invented by Dr. James Naismith in 1891 in Springfield, Massachusetts. The idea was to create a game that could be played indoors during the winter. Not sure how it hasn't grown popular in the UK then, because we pretty much live inside due to the cold weather. The sport quickly spread across the US and eventually the world. The NBA or National Basketball Association was formed in 1946 and has since become the pinnacle of professional basketball. It's home to some of the greatest players in the world and many players celebrate the achievement of playing in the NBA from overseas. Now in the States, basketball is massive. The NBA teams such as the Los Angeles Lakers, Boston Celtics, Chicago Bulls and Miami Heat are practically household names. You even see these shirts being worn as fashion symbols over in Europe. So even for someone like me who has absolutely no exposure to the sport can recognize these things. I can therefore respect the craft in this sport. In the NBA, they play 82 games a season plus the playoffs. And it's all about high scoring, fast paced action. But here in Europe, things are a little bit different. Basketball in Europe is growing and it's got its own style. The EuroLeague is the top competition where teams like Real Madrid, Barcelona and CSKA Moscow dominate. The game here is more tactical with a strong emphasis on teamwork and strategy. It's like a hybrid between the technical finesse of football and the quick decision-making of rugby. Also, for those of you who are mad at me for comparing basketball with football and rugby, I don't care. <laughs> it's the only comparison I can make to truly comprehend this new sport.
At my height, I certainly won't be playing, that's for sure. So how does basketball work? For my fellow rugby and football fans, here's a quick rundown. The game is played with two teams of five players each. The objective, to get the ball through the opponent's hoop to score points. A basket is worth two points or three points if it's shot from behind the three point line. This is simply the big line that goes around the net. But it's risky because if you're shooting from this far away, you need time, you need space. And of course, most importantly, you need accuracy. This is difficult to have in a game like this. There's also something called a free throw, which is worth one point. This is awarded after a certain foul. Remember that basketball is not a contact sport. So the moment the ref sees any touching, they'll call a penalty. Games are played in four quarters of 10 minutes each here in Europe or 12 minutes in the NBA. A lot of this I did not know until I started doing my research. The pace is rapid. You've got dribbling, passing, shooting, and some incredible athleticism. And let's not forget the slam dunks. That's where the player jumps up and literally throws the ball down into the hoop. What really struck me was the respect from the fans. Sure, they were loud and passionate, but there was an underlining sense of respect for the game and for each other. Maybe it's the Spanish influence, but it felt different from the more, shall we say, vocal crowds I'm used to in football. Even when I go to see my beloved Atletico, this sport was a step up with regards to respect. And the entertainment factor, wow. From the kiss cam to the t-shirt cannons, it's all about keeping the energy high during the breaks. And trust me, there's a lot of them. It's definitely a different kind of experience, but one I could see myself getting hooked on. So that's my first taste of basketball. And I have to say, I'm impressed. It's fast, it's fun, and it's got a vibe that's totally different from anything I've experienced in football or in rugby. I'm definitely going to check out more games and maybe even dive into some NBA action. Who knows? Maybe I found my new next sports obsession. If you enjoyed this little dive into my first basketball experience, hit that like button, subscribe for more events and content, and drop a comment if you've got any tips for a newbie basketball fan like me. Until next time, thanks. Basketball? Did someone say basketball? Okay. Stop messing around, <laughs> that's what I'm doing.